Hi, this is Tony Sagami for Uncommon Wisdom Daily. Now, I recently read the World Bank's latest report on the global economy, and it was downright alarming. The institution just cut its growth forecast for both the developed and emerging markets in 2012 and warned that there is a significant chance of a worldwide slowdown. The World Bank now sees global economic growth of 2.5% this year and 3.2% in 2013. Now that's downs from its previous projection of 3.6% growth for both years. And the outlook for the 17 countries that use the euro currency is even worse. The World Bank now is forecasting a contraction of 3 tenths of a percent in 2012, and that's down from its earlier estimate of 1.8% growth. But the World Bank didn't stop there. It said that the downturn in Europe, combined with the weaker growth in developing countries, could ultimately cause a global economy to slow down another 4%. That would translate into a major recession on par or even worse than the economic climate in 2008. And that was when we had the collapse of Lehman Brothers. However, the report wasn't all bad. The World Bank forecasts that China will expand by a very healthy 8.4% this year and 8.3% next year. Now those numbers aren't quite as strong as a 10.3 and 9.2 percent growth that China enjoyed in 2009 and 2010 respectively, but it's still very robust. I tell you, even more impressive, the World Bank expects China to maintain an annual growth rate of 8 percent for the next two decades. Now the world hasn't seen that type of sustained, spectacular growth since the Industrial Revolution. So how has China managed to avoid the fallout from the European debt crisis that threatened the rest of the global economy? The reason is that only 18% of China's exports go to the European Union. And even though the Eurozone economy is slowing down, its consumers are still buying Chinese products. In fact, Europe's imports from China rose by 4.9% in November and by another 7.2% in December. Globally, Chinese exports are growing even more dramatically. They increased by 13.4% in December alone and more than 20% for all of 2011. By the way, the United States accounts for a big chunk of those numbers. Chinese exports to the U.S. jumped by nearly 17% in November and by 12% in December. China's export machine has created a huge trade surplus. Uh, it widened to $16.5 billion in December. And for all of last year, China had a $155 billion surplus. Those numbers tell me that while China is not immune to Europeans' economic woes, it's more resilient than most other countries. In addition, China's own domestic demand and consumption are more than making up for whatever it may lose in exports. That's why the World Bank is spot on about the future of China and why you should make China and its Asian neighbors an important part of your investment strategy for many years to come. I'm Tony Sagami for Uncommon Wisdom Daily. Thanks for watching.